Veterans Day is on November the 11th, and it does not change. Well, World War I ended on the, on, the, uh, on the 11th month, on the 11th day at the 11th hour. And he tells a story about seeing a man who was selling poppies. And he stopped a lady on the street, asked if uh, she'd bought one, asked if he could reposition the way that she'd put it on there. And while doing so, this man told this lady who was wearing the, the, the poppy that she should remember the poppy should be worn on the, on the right side. The red that was in the poppy represented the blood of those who gave their lives on the battlefield. The black represented the mourning of those who didn't have their loved ones return uh, after the conflict. And the green leaf represented the grass and the crops growing and the future prosperity after the war uh, had ended and so much was destroyed. The leaf should be placed at 11 o'clock to represent the 11th hour, the 11th month of the 11th uh, 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 day of the 11th month. Uh, the time that World War I formally ended. And Jim went on to, to capture this as it was written, that the man, and you know, we've forgotten a lot of this, was worried that younger generations, that's us, wouldn't understand the sacrifices that were made by the veterans who went to foreign wars and fought on foreign fields and gave their life and fought so courageously that we might have the freedom. Freedom is not free. We appreciate these who have, uh, who have done so much for our country. And what I'd like to do is, is I'm going to ask uh, 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 Brother Kenny and Brother Gary and Brother Jim, if you'll stand and kind of take a position right here in the middle. And if our veterans would uh, kind of get up here on either side of them, we want to recognize them. And these men are going to lead us into pledge. You're, you're good right there. All right. And uh, our veterans, if you'll come forward and just take a place on either side uh, here, that would be a blessing. Isn't this a good-looking crew? All right. And these men are going to lead us in our pledges. And we have the American flag, the Christian flag, and the Bible. Brother Jimmy. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now we'll say our pledge to the Christian flag. Pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands, one Savior, crucified risen and coming again with life and liberty to all who believe. And our pledge to the Bible. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide my words in my heart that I might not sin against God. All right, and you all might be seated and to our veterans if you'll stay here just for a second. Uh, Miss Reba, uh, we have a, a gift for them, just something to recognize the day. Um, we do appreciate your service to our country. Uh, not sure if any one of you would like to say something at this point. Brother Don, maybe you wanted to say something at this point. <laughs> I've got your back. It's okay. <laughs> Just glad to be here. Thank you for your service. How about a round of applause for these uh, men and women? Thank each one of you, and you can uh, return to your seats, and uh, thank you so much for that. And Brother Kenny, you put the flag back. And, and I wanted to uh, have one more slide here, and uh, this is Brother Jim Hagee. And, you know, you love Brother Jim, right? Uh, so these are two photos he sent me this week, uh, and uh, he didn't know I was going to share them. He didn't send them for that reason. 
Uh, but one is, I think it was like 25, to, uh, it was 34 degrees, and he was 25 feet in the air, you know, hanging up there, uh, waiting to meet a friend. Uh, and you can see in the uh, right photograph, this is Deer Zilla, Buck Zilla, you know, uh, that uh, I'm glad it ended up uh, with Brother Jim and not on the front bumper of somebody's SUV. Uh, but uh, listen, this guy looks after us. Uh, you know, Brother Vinoy, our deacons, they do. But, but if, if you ever get a chance, you ought to just let Brother uh, Jim know. He loves the veterans. He loves his church. Uh, he, he makes sure that the doors are locked. And, you know, he, he spreads uh, mulch out there. He does a thousand little things like that. And uh, we just love Brother Jim and look forward to him being here. He wished he could have been here today. All right, with that, um, we, uh, we're going to ask our men to come and take our tithe and offering this morning. And then we're going to get.